One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. Link is in the description. All right, enjoy the video, guys. What's up, guys? It's Arios here. And today I'm going to be doing a trade recap on LIZI. Um, it was a trade that I took this morning and I wanted to do a recap on this one because I felt there was some really big lessons that could be learned for it uh, for long side traders as well as maybe indicators that as a short trader you're you're trying to maybe I don't know fight the stock or or maybe some just price action cues that can uh, take some risk off the table early and can help you kind of get set up so without further ado I'll just get right into it. Um, so yeah, for this one, um, these are two scalps that I kind of did this morning. Um, I, I'll kind of talk about it in detail. Uh, basically, we had another ticker up this morning that was running, um, MDLY, I believe, and that one ended up uh, halting, and then it didn't reopen, and just ended up opening in the afternoon sometime at like a dollar lower. So in that kind of situation, we had we had people, I think, um, who were either in that MDLY stock or that were looking at it. That one was the hot check. And then that one kind of got taken off the table. So the two main stocks this morning were MDLY and LIZI. And as soon as that MDLY halt kind of happened, immediately volume started coming into LIZI. So Long traders this morning were kind of looking at both of those two stocks. I, MDLY was the clear hot chick in the morning, but um, after that halt kind of happened, I mean, MDLY is untradeable, so now we have everyone primarily moving over to LIZI, and that's when this one got a little bit crowded. So I kind of saw the spike above VWAP, and I said, listen, um, I can probably take some kind of on this, this kind of wicking action uh, right here. So I kind of took some right here. And immediately we tried to go higher, it didn't really work. We tried to go higher a couple times. And I mean, for me, I basically saw this as, okay, we could we could be topping off this kind of 425 line. So basically what I said is that I'm just gonna exit right now because I knew that was like kind of a little bit of a FOMO trade. I had a plan on MDOY, it didn't end up happening. Um, it wasn't like I jumped on in this one and started chasing at the highs, of course. I mean, I was in from 409. But, I mean, to me, I was like, listen, I should be happy with the 20 cents sell. VWAP recently has been a pain uh, as a really, really big resistance kind of area. And we kind of got over, but this whole area near VWAP, I still consider a resistance. If we're, if we're having a lot of trouble pushing higher, which we were, um, I just said, listen, there is some dump risk here. There's definitely some significant dump risk after we had just moved from 375 all the way up to 425. It kind of pulled back, you know, a little bit, but... I mean, for me, I was just saying, listen, uh, you know, it wasn't worth it. It did end up going higher and then just immediately slamming back down. And we kind of got this immediate slam back down. And I mean, in my opinion, I think a lot of people just started hammering it short after VWAP. They were probably like, listen, this is done. This is done. There's no way this is going to this is going to do a type of move like this. And that's when I think people kind of started to get themselves into a little bit of trouble. And Immediately this four area, a lot of people were like, oh, why do you want to go long at four? But immediately this four area, this four area, this 4.5 area, this 3.5 area, they can all be used as some type of support or resistance depending on what side the trade the, the stock is trading on. Hey guys, my name is Tosh Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and monitors at My Investing Club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. And... This morning, we immediately kind of came down, tried to break four. It didn't really happen. We test VWAP. We try and break four again. Still didn't really break. We test four or we test VWAP again. Still can't break four. So right now, what I see is that we're kind of in a battle. And in my opinion, what this should have done is kind of came down to four, tested VWAP, and then went lower. But we didn't really go lower. 
and so we tested VWAP again, but we still didn't really go lower. So I knew something was kind of up at that 4 area. And we, we immediately kind of got this move higher end of 425, right back down, and it was a stuff move. But the reason that I would kind of call that more so of a fake stuff move or like, um, you know, an odd type of price action move is because we didn't go lower. And I expected this to kind of stuff at 425 and go way lower, but we didn't. Um, we still had trouble breaking that 4 area. So that tells me that 4 area is a really, really big support. The 4 area down here matters. And... Sometimes you're going to have something like down here where 3.5, you know, obviously this isn't a good long on the backside, but, um, you know, you're going to have times where uh, we just kind of shoot through one of those 4.5 areas and keep going past it. And I mean, that's okay. But to me, I, I just kind of said to myself, listen, um, four is obviously a significant area. Obviously four matters. And in my opinion, we had a lot of people who were shorting underneath VWAP thinking, oh, this is done, it's got to break down, it's got to break down. And every time we tested four, immediately we just bid back up. We bid back up. And so that told me that obviously that kind of four area matters. Obviously that four area is something that people care about, you know, where we have a bunch of longs chasing up here and immediately they just end up selling and filling into this kind of four area. So obviously there's a buyer at four. And anytime you chase, you just end up getting wrecked and you end up selling back into four. And so obviously there is someone who's trying to, to either fill a buy order at four. Um, and anytime we got any type of selling pressure into four, it just did not, it just did not go. So anyway, we ended up moving and creepily kind of crawling up. And then the third time we ended up going higher, uh, over 4.5 and immediately we squeezed all the shorts out. Um, we got a big, uh, you know, 3 million volume candle and all those shorts are, are squeezed out, they're stopping out and then just we reverse right away. And that's one of these scenarios where there were a lot of people trapped underneath here and it ended up kind of moving up into this kind of 4.75 area. And I mean, they must have knew that a lot of people were short under VWAP and they just kind of squeezed it higher. Uh, all those people covered probably into these four buy orders and then boom, it just, um, it ended up going lower. So that was, this is some price action that I think you can really, really learn from because we can get a lot of information from it. And this is where we can learn from the price action. And we're using it with the lines, of course, but we're, we're kind of painting a picture. We know that a lot of people are probably short down here because they've seen this type of action. They've been saying, you know what, uh, we're, we're under view app now, we're good to go. And I would not dispute that. Um, but after we kind of start testing for so many times that, that this four area has proven to us and shown us, okay, um, you know, it's obviously telling us that it doesn't want to break. And you can easily take a, a you know, a trade above four, risking maybe with a hard stop of three nine and say, okay, well, if four breaks, I have a hard stop. I have, I have my risk established. I know what I want to go long off of. I know that, you know, all my risk is set with hard stops and, and, and I I've established this kind of risk. So now I'm able to, to be a little bit more comfortable to kind of let the trade play out and we see these kind of stuff moves. And these stuff moves immediately are going to, to bait some short sellers who love to short sell into weakness. And the reason is, is because they see all these big bids at four get taken out and they're expecting this to go down maybe to like 3.5 or lower, right? They're expecting that one to go down to, you know, to they're expecting a big, big, big fade when four breaks and rightly so. But the problem is, is that four wasn't breaking and that four had not. And that was more some kind of anticipate, anticipation into weakness. And we, we saw that. We saw a lot of people uh, get get kind of get squeezed out. And so I went long, just kind of risking that three nine area. We ended up going up to uh, the 4.75. I was out at six two and that was, you know, an average of six two. But that was kind of what I was what I was looking for. And that's kind of what I have been doing. You know, I've been, I've been, I've been studying the past. I've been researching the past in order to predict the future. And this is all um, just kind of price action tips and tricks. And I hope that you know this can help you in the future. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching.
Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.